Hello, and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. I apologize that the steering wheel's in the car. It's a different car, not my car. I'm not the passenger, so at least we're parked here. You know, sometimes I gotta ride around the road with friends, and it's like a pain in the ass. You know what I mean? Just having to ride around doing a review, and the, the phone's not stable, and then kaplunk, it falls. Well, this phone's probably not gonna fall, and if it does, it's my fault. So anyways, Zaxby's has brought back their Sensation Chicken Sandwich with an egg roll. I've never had it, and I'm sure some of y'all have never had it. So I'm going to go ahead and try it tonight. Um, well, I'll, it'll be uploaded the next day, so you'll understand what I mean by tonight. That means yesterday. Anyways, so I'm going to review this, just tell you what I think, all that good stuff. Um, you know how it goes. But I'm in Atlanta you might already wonder why I'm doing Saxby's because I was trying to do Dwarf House. They're closed on the inside because Chick-fil-A really cares about people and health. And their drive through menu is just a regular Chick-fil-A menu. So, I'm just going to have to do it whenever I end up in Atlanta again. So, that's fine. It's life. That's life, you know. So, anyways, before I get to this review, please give this video a like, comment, and share. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, that keeps on revving up on numbers. I hope it keeps growing. That would be nice. And check out my Instagram, we're next snack and food. And some news on that. It has officially gained more followers than my regular YouTube account. So, there's that. How do I feel about that? I got mixed feelings, but it will keep growing, I suppose. So, uh, here we go with uh, what this looks like. Hopefully, I don't drop nothing. Um, nothing too important, but... The egg roll, the sandwich, the fries. We all know what Saxby's fries are like. They're crinkle cut. Anyways, um, I'm going to try egg roll first. Um, and then I'll jump to the sandwich. Not going to be a long review again. Just me rambling on. Getting to the point. But Atlanta was pretty cool. A little weird because there was like, it didn't feel like a lot of people were around. So apparently, you know, I, I wouldn't think a lot of, at this point a lot of people would be following COVID rules. But they are. They're staying at home, I guess. Which is very interesting. But I liked it. I thought it was cool. Next time I come to Atlanta, it'll be a different experience, I'm sure. So uh, here's the egg roll. I'll take a bite out of it. You can see the inside of it. But it looks a bit cooked. But I've had all kinds of egg rolls. So I'm fine with cooked. So here we go. You know, that's not bad. Um, it's seasoned pretty nicely. It's got vegetables in it. Um, carrots. I suppose it's either celery or lettuce or something. But it, it's it's got solid amount of flavor and sodium. But it might induce you to have a heart attack. So, just be careful. And don't eat too much sodium before you eat this. Because you got the chicken sandwich, you got fries, and you got this really high sodium egg roll. Um, I'll give that an eight. It was good. I wouldn't say it's the most wonderful thing in the world, but compared to other egg rolls, it was actually really solid. So I give that an eight. Even though you know we're not here for that, we're here for the sandwich. So uh, it doesn't look like a lot of meat. It doesn't look like a lot of chicken, which is a bit disappointing. It is a bit of slaw. So I think they put coleslaw. Um, I don't know if that's like, what are those things called? Is that wontons? But it's like coleslaw. I guess that's wontons. It's dripping. They might put a sauce in there. But here, one more look. I'll take, I'll, maybe I'll eat the whole half. We'll see. And I'll tell you what I think, what the flavors I'm getting, if it's worth it. All that good stuff. Apparently it's worth it because they brought it back. But that doesn't mean anything. And then they got a salad too. But I guess it's supposed to have this like Asian sauce on there which is impressive to me i love asian food so here we go let's make this stop thing stop dripping you know if you told me that a chinese place started selling sandwiches you were able to convince me that this was not like if I didn't know Saxby's had stuff, if there was anything such thing as Saxby's, you might be able to convince me this is this has 
Chinese food qualities. Uh, the, I, I would say it's a bit of stretch with the the bun, of course, but it does taste like some Chinese cuisine or Asian cuisine. Either one, the sauce is just so distinct to those cultures. Um, so I, I on the first bite, I like it. Um, the coleslaw got a good crunch. The wontons or whatever you call them, fried wonton. I don't, uh, I don't know what you call them. I always got a good crunch. Not a lot of chicken, but it's the chicken has some good bold flavor in my opinion. So we're gonna keep eating this, and uh, I'll have a I'll have a rating. Jury's not out yet. I mean, the jury's still out. Sorry, the jury is still out. Verdict's not out. This whole sandwich is drenched in the sauce. It's not just the chicken. Even in areas where the chicken is lacking, I taste the sauce. I like it. It's really solid. My one complaint, though, is that there needs to be more chicken. So if Chick-fil-A did something like this, it would probably get a 10. But it's just not enough chicken in my opinion. And I would say Saxby's is arguably the third best chicken chain in the United States. Clearly Chick-fil-A is one. Popeyes is two, and then you, you you have a debate, but I would say Saxby's is number three. That's my opinion on all of that. You know what? I'm gonna give this an eight and a half, and that might sound like a stretch with the fact that I'm saying the main thing in there, chicken, is a bit thin, but the flavor is just there. It's got some good crunch, got some good textures and it just does things right the sauce is really good so i recommend this not extremely highly but i'd, I'd say kind of highly um it's definitely worth a try and you will enjoy it i enjoyed it so that's all i have for this review i hope you enjoyed this review of course i try and keep you entertained the best i can but uh yeah that's what i got and uh, I'll be back home from Atlanta tomorrow, so later tomorrow, so I'll try and get back to doing some more snack reviews. But uh, that's, that's it. So I will see y'all around, and uh, have a nice day.